Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Airspeeder reveals Mark IV Racer. Possible date set for SpaceX Starship launch. And Embry-Riddle Group secures EPA grant. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Airspeeder reveals Mark IV Racer. The latest and most highly sophisticated iteration of an eVTOL racer is Alauda Aeronautics' Airspeeder Mark IV, a swift machine with the top speed of 196 knots. The 2,094-pound Mark IV is powered by a 1,340-brake horsepower Thunderstrike hydrogen turbo generator that feeds electrical power to the vehicle's batteries and motors. The turbo generator comprises in part a 3D-printed combustor developed for the rocket engines peculiar to the orbital space industry. Subject combustor, according to Alauda Aeronautics, quote, keeps the hydrogen flame temperatures relatively low, end quote, which reportedly reduces nitrous oxide emissions. So powered, the Mark IV has a claimed range of 163 nautical miles. Diverging from the convention of simple tilt rotors, the Mark IV maneuvers by dint of a, quote, unique gimbaled thrust system, end quote, commanded by a, quote, artificial intelligence light controller, end quote, which individually adjusts the lightweight 3D printed gimbals on which the contraption's four discrete rotor pairs are mounted. The proprietary architecture imbues the Mark IV with the exceptional straight line velocity and precise maneuverability essential to close action racing. A lot of Aeronautics' airspeeder Mark IV is due to be publicly unveiled at the South Star Innovation Festival on March 7, 2023. And after the break, Collins to produce Lilium Jet side stick controllers. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Collins to produce Lilium Jet side stick controllers. Lilium GmbH has partnered with Raytheon Technologies subsidiary Collins Aerospace to design, develop, and build the Lilium Jet's interceptors, the cockpit side stick control mechanisms by which pilots will guide the Lilium Jet in flight. The business of bringing such a system to market is eminently congruous with Collins Aerospace's well-earned reputation for crafting advanced and intelligent solutions for both military and civilian aircraft. Ameriflight branches out into automated on-demand VTOL ops. Ameriflight signed a letter of intent to purchase 35 VTOL air cargo drones from the Saberwing Aircraft Company. Saberwing will provide its Regal A, often shortened to Alpha, in company parlance to serve the Part 135 cargo operator as a sustainable VTOL aircraft. The Regal A will provide Ameriflight with an efficient all-weather cargo UAV once the model achieves type certification. The line hopes that its prospective fleet of Regal A's will allow it to, quote, enter into new business opportunities and distribution center logistics, end quote. California College Offering Drone Pilot Apprenticeships Fullerton College of Fullerton, California has registered the Hornet Drone Piloting Apprentice Program with the U.S. Department of Labor and the California Department of Apprenticeship Standards, opening the way for paid training in the fast-moving world of UAV piloting. The move comes amid state efforts to expand the number of apprenticeships throughout California, particularly those in high-demand robust industries like uncrewed aviation. The apprenticeship will incorporate an in-class curriculum with 11 units at Fullerton College to obtain certifications with the FAA and OSHA. UND adds aerospace engineering degree. The University of North Dakota's College of Engineering and Mines announced the addition of an undergraduate degree in aerospace engineering. The program, which will commence in autumn 2023, will be offered in both in-person and online formats. 
UND College of Engineering and Mines Dean Brian Tandy opined the new degree program pairs naturally with the John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences, stating, quote, with our long history in aviation and strong connections to the aerospace industry, UND is a natural place for an aerospace engineering program, end quote. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Possible date set for SpaceX Starship launch. Following a test firing of the Raptor rocket engines by which its Super Heavy booster is powered, SpaceX is making ready to fly its much-anticipated Starship. The test firing was a near-complete success as 31 of the Super Heavy booster's 33 rocket engines ignited and throttled up nominally. The critical test was conducted one day after SpaceX President Gwen Shotwell announced the company would not only conduct the test firing, but also make an orbital flight attempt the following month. Speaking at Orlando Space Mobility Conference on Tuesday, February 21st, SpaceX Senior Advisor for National Security Space Solutions Gary Henry called the test firing, quote, really the last box to check. The immense vehicle upon reaching Earth orbit will earn the distinction of being the most powerful rocket ever to do so, besting the 8.8 .8 million thrust pounds of NASA's Saturn V moon rocket by a staggering 198.87%. The Starship's total power output is slightly north of 17.5 million thrust pounds. To the subject of a Starship launch date, Mr. Henry said, quote, The FAA has a role here, so there's a launch license that is required, and we hope to secure the license in the near future. And I think there is some Musk TV in our future here probably in the month of March. I would encourage all of you to tune in when that time comes, end quote. And after these messages, Embry-Riddle Group secures EPA grant. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Embry-Riddle Group secures EPA grant. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University has been awarded a $25,000 EPA grant under the auspices of the agency's People, Prosperity, and the Planet program. The Embry-Riddle student group to which the grant was awarded is studying means by which UAS may be employed to help improve air quality. What's more, subject group is one of only 16 U.S. teams chosen to travel to Washington, D.C. for purpose of presenting its work to representatives of the EPA. According to Dr. Marwa El Sayed, Assistant Professor of Civil Engineering and the Director of Embry-Riddle's Sustainability and Environmental Engineering Lab, the project leverages Embry-Riddle's expertise in aviation and engineering to investigate a low-cost solution to better monitor air quality and atmospheric pollution. Dr. El Sayed set forth the project seeks to implement the three pillars of sustainability – social, economic, and environmental – to characterize air quality using various low-cost sensors in three different modes. Currently, such sensors are expensive, require high degrees of maintenance, and are suitable only for ground-based measurements. Students and faculty from Embry-Riddle's departments of Civil Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, and Aeronautical Science are collaborating on the research. A student organization known as MOVE UAS is also involved. Collectively, the contributing groups have set out to integrate, test, and implement the sensors vis-a-vis -vis extant UAS systems. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.